Now, si balik sa rules, we have to answer first the number inside the parentheses. Okay. So, ano nga ba yung number na nasa loob ng parentheses? So, we have here 10 plus 2. So, we have to bring down 9 or copy down 9. And then, we have to answer 10 plus 2. <music> Hello everyone, thank you for checking our channel and thank you for clicking on this video. This video is a part 2 on our previous topic about the order of operations or PEMDAS. To proceed, review muna tayo ng konti. So ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng PEMDAS? So ang PEMDAS ay isang acronym. So ang P ay acronym ng parenthesis. E is for exponent. M is for multiplication, D is for division, A is for addition, and S is for subtraction. So, kaya ito naging PEMDAS. To continue, we have two problems here. We have 40 plus 14 divided by 6, and we also have 40 times 14 minus 6. Okay, so, it's answer. But before that, Si may sinulat akong PEMDAS na word here as a guide para magkaroon tayo ng guide. And meron din akong arrow. So, ang arrow is from left going to right. So, it means that to answer PEMDAS, we have to follow rules. So, it will start from the left going to right. So, unahin natin ang nasa left going to right. And again, ang nasa unahan ay yung letter P or yung number na nasa loob ng parenthesis. Again, and next is the number that has an exponent. Okay. Next is the multiplication and then division followed by addition and subtraction. But wait, again, as I said before, si multiplication at ang addition has the same level. Pareho lang sila, which ever come first. Ganun na din si addition at subtraction. So, pag solve ng multiplication at division, depende kung sino yung nauna sa kanilang dalawa. Okay. And so, with the addition and subtraction. Okay. So, sagutan natin ang number one. Again. Ano nga ba ang number na nasa loob ng parenthesis? So, ang nasa loob ng parenthesis ay ang 40 plus 14. So, sagutan natin ang 40 plus 14. So, 40 plus 14 equals... 54, okay? 40 plus 14 equals 54 divided by 6. So, we have to bring down here, divided by 6 or copy divided by 6. Kasi, ang, una, ang inuna natin sinagutan ay ang number na nasa loob ng parenthesis, okay? So, okay, to continue, we have 40, uh, 54, I'm sorry, 54 divided by 6 equals... 9. Okay. So, our answer is 9. Okay. So, let's proceed to number 2. Okay. Now, number 2 is we have 40 times 14 minus 6. Again, unahin natin ang number na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 40 times ang nasa una. Pero, ang nasa rules natin, we have to Answer first the number inside the parenthesis. So, 40 times, kopyahin muna natin. Okay? Or bring down muna natin. So, and then we have to answer first the number inside the parenthesis. 14 minus 6. Oh, ano nga bang sagot? 14 minus 6 equals 8. After that, pwede na natin sagutan. 40 times 8 equals, okay, what's the answer? It's 320. So, 320 is the answer. So, to answer number 3, unahin na muna natin yung number na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, si 9, we have to copy 9. Or bring down muna natin si 9. Kasi balik sa rules, we have to answer first the number inside the parenthesis. Okay. So, ano nga ba yung number na nasa loob ng parenthesis? So, we have here 10 plus 2. So, we have to bring down 9 or copy down 9. And then, we have to answer 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2 equals 12. So, this is 12. And then, we have also have plus 4 squared. Okay. Plus 4 
squared. Okay. Since we have two parentheses, so naka parentheses pa rin itong nasa baba. Okay. So continue. We have again we have to bring down na naman ni nine, si nine. Because we have to answer this number first. Kasi meron pa rin siyang parenthesis. Okay. 12 plus 4 squared. Okay. So, 12 plus. Again, sagutan natin ang 4 squared. How to compute 4 squared? Yung iba, gano, ganito. 4 times 2 equals 8. Mali yan. Hindi ganyan. Si 4, you have to multiply 4 by itself. So, 4 times 4. Halimbawa, 4 cube ito. Halimbawa, this is this is 4 cube. So, to answer this one, we have to multiply 4 by itself 3 times. So, 4 times 4 times 4. So, ganun. Ano nga bang sagot? 4 times 4, 16. Then, 16 times 4, yun yung sagot. So, oh, wait. Halimbawa lang yan. So, unahin muna natin sagutin si 4 squared. Okay? So, to answer 4 squared, we have to, we have to multiply 4 by itself. So, 4 times 4 equals 16. Okay. We have to put 16 here. 12 plus 4 squared is equals to 16. Then, to continue, again, bring down na naman si 9 plus. Then, we have to answer 12 plus 16. So, 12 plus 16 equals 28. Okay, so 9 plus 28, our final answer is 37. 37 is our final answer for number 3. Now, let's proceed to number 4. In number 4, we have here 12 minus 4 inside the parentheses multiplied by 11 plus 42 divided by 6. Okay, wala tayong exponent dito. Then we have, but we have parenthesis, we have multiplication, addition, and we also have division. Okay. So, again, balik sa rule, we have to answer first the number inside the parenthesis. So, 12 minus 4 is equals to ano sagot? So, 12 minus 4 equals 8. And then, we have to copy 11 times 11 plus 42 divided by 6. Bakit na ito kinopya lahat? Kasi para hindi kayo malito. O we have to stick to the rules na unahin natin yung number na nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? Next is, ano nga bang susunod? So, we have to, again, ang next ay exponent. Okay? So, meron bang number na may exponent? Yes, wala. So, we have to proceed to multiplication or division. So, ang nasa una ay si multiplication. So, we have to multiply 8 by 11. Unahin natin sagutin yung 8 times 11. So, 8 times 11 equals? Yes, very good. It's 88 plus 42 divided by 6. Okay, what's the answer for 42 divided by 6? Wow, ang galing nyo. Yes, it's 7. So, we have here, 88 plus 7 equals 95. Ang galing nyo. Okay, so we're done for number 3 and number 4. So, for number 5, we have here, 12 minus 8 squared. Okay, 12 minus 8 ay nasa loob ng parenthesis. And then, we have squared then plus 7 times 8 minus 4 inside the parenthesis pa rin. And then divided by 6 minus 2 inside the parenthesis pa rin. Okay? So, we have to answer it now. So, again, ang uunahin natin ay yung mga number na nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? 12 minus 8 equals, okay, ano nga ba sagot? 12 minus 8. So, so 12 minus 8 equals 4. Okay, 4. Pero, meron tayong square dito. So, we have to put squared here. Exponent. So, 4 squared. Okay, plus. Again, uunahin natin sagutan yung mga number na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, sasagutan natin itong mga nasa parenthesis. And then, we have 7 times 8. 7 times 8. Ano nga bang sagot? 7 times 8 equals 56 minus 4. So, 56 minus 4, 
What's the answer? It's 52. Okay? Divided by, we have divided by 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Oh, ganun, ganyan lang. Okay? So, next, we have to answer 4 squared. After parenthesis, ang sunod na sagutan ay yung number na may exponent. Okay? The number that has an exponent. So, in in here, we have 4 squared. Yung iba, wala namang exponent. So, 4 squared. 4 squared, again, alam nyo na kung paano i-compute yung 4 squared. We have to multiply 4 by itself. So, 4 times 4 equals, this is 16. Plus, 52. After here, after exponent, ay yung number na, multiplic ay yung may multiplication, walang multi multiplication, so we have to proceed with the division. So, 52 divided by 4. Ano nga bang sagot? Okay, 52 divided by 4 equals 13. And so, final answer, 16 plus 13, the answer is 29. So, 29 is our final answer. So, we have our number 6 here. 5 cubed minus, inside the parentheses, are 13 plus 5 minus 12 squared divided by 3. Okay? So, again, unahin natin sagutan yung number na nasa loob ng parentheses. So, we have to bring down 5 cubed or copy down 5 cubed here. Oh, we have so, we copied 5 cube And then, ang sagutan natin yung number na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, ano nga ba yung 13 plus 5? So, 13 plus 5 equals 18. So, 18 minus 12. So, we have 6. Okay. So, 5 cube minus 13 plus 5 equals 18 minus 12 equals 6. Pero, meron tayong exponent here. So, we have to put exponent. 6 squared divided by 3. So, kinopia natin si divided by 3 down. Okay. And then, we have to proceed. Again, after the number inside the parentheses, next is the number that has an exponent. So, meron tayong dalawang number na may exponent here. So, unahin natin sagutan si 5 cube. Again, to answer the, the exponent, the number that has an exponent, we have to multiply the number by itself. Hindi yung 5 times 3, mali yun. So, yung, uh, you have to multiply 5 by itself. So, 5 times 5 times 5. So, ano nga ba yung 5 times 5, 5 times 5? Okay? So, 5 times 5 equals 25. Times 5, yung sagot ng 5 times 5, na 25 ay i-multiply na naman natin ng another 5. So, I have to write it here. 5 times 5 times 5. So, 5 times 5, the answer is 25. Si 25, i-multiply na naman natin ng another 5 dahil tatlo eh. 1, 2, 3. We have 1, 2, 3. 5 cube. So, oh, 5 cube. So, Tatlong, we have to multiply 5 by itself. So, tatlong 5. Sa dalawa lang, 5 times 5, the answer is 25. And then, the answer of 5 times 5, i-multiply na naman natin ng isa pang 5. So, 5 times 5 times, uh, 5 times 5 equals 25. Times 5 equals, uh, ano nga bang sagot? Limang 25. The answer is 125. Okay, so, 5 cubed here, the answer is 125 minus, sagutan natin ang 6 squared. So, 6 squared, the answer is, anong sagot? We have to multiply 6 by itself. So, 6 times 6 equals 36. So, we have 36 here divided by 3. Okay, so have you noticed, we bring down 3 here. Dahil, ang inuna natin ay yung number na may exponent. Now, let's continue. We have 
125 minus 36 divided by 3. Di ba sa rule, we have to answer first the number inside the parenthesis. Next, ay yung number na may exponent. And then, multiplication. After multiplication is division, addition, and subtraction. So, in this case, we have subtraction. And then, we also have division. So, unahin natin sagutin yung my division. So, we have to bring down na naman si 125. Okay, 125 minus, so 36 divided by 3. Ano ang sagot? 36, hahatiin ng tatlo. So, the answer is 12. Now, 125 minus 12 equals to 113. So, 113 is our final answer. Nakuha nyo ba? So, I hope na naintindihan nyo at mas makatulong pa sa inyo.